Uh, okay, this demo is not my usual uh, circuit board project. It's a piece of software, an application that I put together uh, for the purpose of testing Hamlib's rig control daemon. Well, basically testing Hamlib, but using the rig control daemon for testing. Um, the application is written in NetBeans, Java and we're running it on my desktop computer. Uh, the uh, server, the rig control daemon, is running in a Linux box upstairs and that is uh, interfaced with an ICOM IC7100 transceiver. <clears throat> uh, now HamLive, I should mention, is, um, is just a collection of APIs for um, interfacing with ham radio equipment, uh, particularly uh, or primarily transceivers and receivers. And also it interfaces rotators, but I have not explored that aspect of HamLive. <coughs> so uh, let me bring up the server and uh, show you. This is uh, a list of the equipment that HamLive supports. And we are this item right here. What's the untested mean? I don't know. I don't know what it means. I, I mean, it means that at the time this was written, it was untested, but possibly it's it surely been tested somewhat. In... You're talking about the API itself? Right, right. With this rig, with this uh, ICOM 7100. Um, Anyhow, um, we have to remember that it's uh, that is this model because when we start uh, the rig control daemon, we have to specify the model. I have scripts for everything, so I'll show you. Um, this is how we start the rig control daemon. Um, we tell it the port. This is a default port, TCP IP port 4532, the model number of the rig that is interfaced, and the device uh, that has the connection to the rig, which in this case is a USB serial device, and also the data transfer rate, which is 19,200 baud. The only significant thing about that is that it has to agree. Yeah, the between... rig and that has to agree, correct? That's right. And then I have, you know, I'm also logging to a file, but that doesn't matter. That's not germane. And also have another script that will uh, tell us that it's running. So I'll try that. And we see that it is, in fact, running. What's the 8437? That's the process number. Oh, okay. Yeah, if we want to stop it or kill it, that's what we would do. And also, this is a host name. Dell T3500, that's the Linux box that it's running on. So I'll put that back down and put the host name in here because that's what we'll be connecting to. And the port is already populated? Yeah, that's the default port. If you had more than one daemon, you would have to use different port numbers for each one. For instance, if you had more than one radio they were connecting to, uh, from the same box, but I mean all of this is kind of unlikely, I think. All right, so the canonical test is to get the frequency, which I'm going to try. I hope it works, and it does, um, because the radio is set to uh, one of its memories, memory D02 to be precise, which is at uh, 144.39 megahertz, the um, terrestrial APRS frequency in the U.S. So that's, um, uh, it tells us that it's working. Um, I can also, um, for instance, get the mode, which should be FM. It is. And uh, all of these commands and uh, and so on are uh, come from the man page uh, for um, what is or, a man page opposed to a woman page? 
Well, well, man is short for manual. And it's a, it's a standard format of documenting Linux applications is with the man page. Just checking. So anyway, um, okay, so I just, when I coded this thing uh, last few days, um, I just walked through the man, pay, the man page, and, or man pages, I don't know how you said, but anyway. Manual? <laughs> no, I never said manual. You, you walk through it and, and, and just code all the options and everything. Mode, for instance, if we go here, we look at mode drop down. Okay, it's the same list of modes as... Uh, here I just so uh, you use the manual and just yeah, populate just copy, it with whatever is available whatever whatever is there for any rig okay. I put in there and um, now it says here that we should also get the passband but um, for the passband um, you need extended mode where does it say that well I just see it's in Hertz as an integer and zero for the back end default that's the only thing I see okay so anyway so if we enable extended response mode up here and do it do it again it will tell us the passband in addition to okay. the mode there are very few commands that are like that um, but that that's one of them um, so anyway um, you can also get the tuning step. I don't know where that is. Uh, there it is. TS. Get the tuning I step. I thought I saw two of those. The tuning step is 25 kilohertz, which is big, but this FM on two meters and it's memory mode. So anyway, that's what it is. Now there was one command that I was kind of looking forward to trying. And uh, let me see if I can find it. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Get info. So this is going to be informative. But what it says is none. Okay. <laughs> so that's a bit disappointing. But it that's not my doing. That's what it says. Is that Hamlet? Uh... Yeah, I presume. Well, it might. There might be some standard command that you send to the radio, and maybe that's what the radio says. I don't really know whether it's ham live or the labor radio. Okay. In this case, um, all right. So each of these combo boxes has um, ar arguments, canned arguments for um, something. Uh, for the get level function, well, RF power. We need to find get level. Uh, where is get level? There it is. Get level RF power. Okay, that comes back as a floating point number, point 0.2, which I know is correct because that's 20% of the uh, power, RF power on 2 meters, which is 50 watts, but 20% of 50 watts is 10 watts, so that's equivalent to 10 watts. We could also get. Uh, other things, key speed, 15, I know that's right. Uh, I don't think I've ever used the keyer in the IC7100, but I did set the key speed at some point. Um, CW pitch. Okay, this is an interesting one. It's not 128 hertz. No, it's not. The uh, The number that comes back is a number between 0 and 255. And that corresponds to the range of 300 to 900 hertz. So 128 would be um, 600 hertz. If we wanted to set it to a different value, we'd have to interpolate to do that. In fact, I think I can do that. Set level. We could set it to 450 hertz, which would be 64. And this thing, the report zero, I'm guessing this means report, and zero tells us that the command was accepted. Like zero errors, maybe? Yes, there's an error. There's an error code that's negative something if there's an error. So let's just 
see if that comes back the same. Yes, so it so did it change. It did change the pitch. And um, so anyway, um, let's get a palm. Where's the, here we are, palms. Okay, palms. Well, first of all, I'm going to clear this because I want to get rid of this thing here. So clear, it doesn't, it wouldn't matter if it were left because it expects, uh, when you say get parm, it wants a parm, not a level. Okay, so we'll get the backlight. All right, this number somehow refers to the backlight brightness. I have no idea. No idea how that refers to it. It might be between zero and one. I have it set pretty dim, but I don't know. Um, that would require reading. Yeah, yeah. Let's try another parm. Maybe there's one that's a little more obvious. What about time? Okay, time. Okay, and it there didn't you, work. It didn't work. Well, one thing I, I, I mentioned it before, and I should clarify. Um, this list here is a list of you know what's implemented for any rig in the um, in the ham, ham lab. If you want to know what uh, what's good for your rig, you have to put in a question mark. And some of the commands, that only works on set. Um, I, I think it works on get parm, but I'm just going to do set because I'm not sure. Okay, so we say send. Oh, it didn't. Oh, that's because I had time in there. I need to clear this. I need to clear this first. And so we'll say uh, set parm and um, question mark. Uh, send. So you only have two that you can... You only have two. Uh, What's A and N? I don't know, but I find out about that. Well, why don't we is... look at what the parameter is and see... Oh, okay. Oh, well, I need to say get. Oh, I didn't put a parameter in. Uh, yeah, this one, okay. It's not implemented. So there's no point in looking it up. No, there's no point in looking it up. Now, um, let's see, what else can I demonstrate? Uh, function, maybe. A function. Oh, I should say, first of all, see what's implemented for function. Clear this. Set function, question mark. Send. Okay, there's a lot of things that it says are implemented, and I know that's not true. They're not. I mean, they might be implemented in the rig, but they're not in supported. The they're not supported in the interface and the rig, for sure. Uh, one that I've looked at before is this one, BSC. Um, well, it just says zero, and I don't know what VSC is either. So, what we would do there is go to the IC seventy one hundred and look for VSC. There's thirteen references. Send read. VSC function off, send read VSC function on. Okay, so it's an on, whatever it is, it's an on off thing. And zero stands for off and one stands for on. But we saw none the wiser, we don't well, know. Well, if you, if you go to the next, <laughs> uh, you might yeah, see it. I'm maybe, just curious now. Some, yeah, I am too. Oh, voice squelch control. Oh, okay. That's what it is, a voice squelch control. Well, that works. <laughs> all right, all right. So we know, we've been educated now as to what VSC is. All right, um, uh, one other thing in here, reset. Now reset resets all the settings in the radio, all the memories, all the hard work you've done. It does all of that, okay? So I'm going to hit send. Whoops, I need to get rid of this first. I'll clear that. And I'll go to reset. And here it says, reset is not permitted. 
Well, that's my doing. That's me saving myself from myself. From messing yourself up. Exactly. Some of us have backups of our settings on SD cards. So. Well, that's yeah. That that wouldn't be a bad idea. I should do that. <laughs> I should definitely do that. So anyway, um, there you have it. Um, uh, uh, whoa. That's our friendly. That's our nearby Air Force Base, yes. Shaw Air Force Base. So anyway, um, what we'll do is, for whatever interest it might have, we'll post this on um, as a zip. So I'll post it as a zip, and I'll put a, a link to the a zip in the uh, video, whatever video comes out of this, okay. in case anybody finds it useful for playing with the uh, Are you going to share your camera. code? Yeah, yeah, I'll zip the whole thing, because if you, with with uh, jar files sometimes it's hard to get a jar file to work and if unless you have everything just right uh, and uh, with the sources you can just recompile it in NetBeans and it'll, okay. it'll be fine so I'll, I'll zip the whole thing and put it up and uh, thank you thank you that was fun <laughs>